Hello and welcome to another Springfield build, or at least an attempt at a Springfield build. So we're going to try and do the cool modern brown house. Now, I have got a few issues with this house. Uh, for a start, cobblestone isn't very attractive, but we're going to have to use it. Uh, the woods aren't really going to show what we're trying to achieve. And the closest colour we can get is the white stained clay, which we don't really want to use because we haven't got the, the play around with it. So first off I think we're going to just try and get out of the way some of the windows. So I'm just going to sort of plant myself in a little bit of my spot. I don't want to go too far out. So I'm going to start building with my dark oak. And I'm just going to place my first two there. Probably end up making it a three. Um, why we can remember, we want to go ahead and get ourselves some, uh, we don't really want to use clay. Yeah, I suppose we use stone and clay. So that'll be our first step there. And obviously it's going to be quite a bit bigger than that. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Needs to include the sides as well. So we're at least looking at a seven, which is pretty big by anyone's standard. Uh, we can cut off the side ones there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it wouldn't surprise me if we end up going a bit more, but I, I would try and keep it at that level. And basically we're going to want these oak planks on this side. So we're going to... I'm not going to pop it out too much of itself. But for now we're going to leave them on the outside like so. We may as well put the ones behind as well. Uh, just in case, realistically, we don't want to use it poking out too much on the front. So we've got these at a length of three at the moment. So we're going to add in them three as well. And then we're going to go back to our oak planks. I'm going to keep these ones in in line with the rest until we know really what it's going to look like afterwards to see if it's possible that we can actually pull this out a little bit. So we're going to go... Um, I think we'll go up to a maximum four high for a mil... Uh, actually, we'll make it five. Four high for now. Uh, we'll carry on these for now as well. So we know we can take our door frame up as well, which is only going to be four. So this house could actually end up pretty big, um, considering none of us really know where it's going to end for now. So we're going to go back to our dark oak planks one two and that'll be a window placement and then we've got our frame back here now on the picture it kind of pokes out so it would be there uh, but then the problem is is say we've got ourselves a dark plank there it means it's also the start of this window so not only would this window be for this row it would then be for this row as well uh, which makes it a little bit awkward uh, if it looks better I'm all up for it um, but personally I'm thinking for now we just add this into the frame rather than go the long way around so we got one two for windows and I'm just using the light blue just to add a bit more color to the house uh, because I hate building with basic planks uh, it is a little bit annoying and sometimes it's hard to see whether the build is coming together until it's a little bit too late so in the same sense we're gonna go one two uh, and then three except this time this one will be straight on top of the dark oak and we've got to do this for one two three four windows so we've got one there and then a second putting our frame on top one two three causing a third window and one two leaving the extra space free for us to put that one in so then we've got on now our four windows so we can go ahead and put in the glass and we just take it three high for now. Uh, we don't know how high this house is going to be. And we're not sure whether we can fit in these uh, slight details in um, just yet. And obviously we've got harder bits to come across as we go. Now the problem with this build is that it actually seems quite simple. But I'm fairly sure that we're going to sort of have a little bit of a hiccup sooner or later. Uh, because very rarely does it go all too well. So we're going to chuck in another one of these right next to it there. And then we're going to go one, two, um, a third. So we've got a 
frame and then a space for a window and then a final frame right there now guys I don't know if this is going to be uh, literally kept this way we, we may have to adjust it as we go through but for now we've got a good solid starting point so you can see that's one side of the house that we seem to have done. The only thing I don't like is where say like these frames are in on themselves. The only other way to get around that is to do that uh, which isn't going to look too clever or that on the outside frame but like I say then we've got an extra glass and I don't quite like the idea of that. Uh, so for now we're going to leave it the way it is. So moving on to our other side we're now going to go one in, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four for now. So doing this kind of shape, and I'm going to leave the last one free, just in case we need to really use that. And then on this side of the house, let me check my pictures. We've got three windows on this side at the back, and I think the best way to start this so it's on this block um, I think that'll be the corner one there and we're just going to make sure this is actually all in line for one second yeah and we want to make ourselves three windows from this point so in the same context we're going to go one two and then a third ready for our frame and then one two third ready for the frame and then we still got one last window to add in so it'll be one two and then this time switching over to the frame now when I look at this picture it looks like the cobblestone is out further than the wood um, the problem then we have is that it's actually it's how long one two three four five six seven eight so that makes that eight in length so the problem we have at the moment we can't really be poking it out uh, just on the inside of the cobblestone because we don't really want to lose the shape before we've actually got one. Now if it in the end actually improves it then we will go with that. Now let's just have a quick check how many spaces we've got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, and if I was to put in the frames, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then we've got a very awkward one on the end so how can we do this if we were to swap it over like so uh, put another two there so that would make a four in one one part unless we turn two of them into threes and I think we're gonna have to do it like that so although it's not completely accurate in a sense I'm not sure if there should be a back door here these two pictures don't cover this side of the house so for us now we're gonna leave it like so so we end up with uh, bigger windows on the back but uh, keeping the rest well in shape so we're gonna go ahead and chuck these in and hope that it all comes together if not it's gonna be kind of annoying but that is the way it is So we end up with this as our outside. So we're going to run this line of cobblestone down to there. Now it would be nice to have it poking out a touch, but at the same time then we it really doesn't explain the sense of this one actually being a frame poking out. It would be from a frame outwards to cobblestone outwards to then the frame inwards. It just, to me, doesn't sound like it would be... Uh, really that sensible if I'm honest so we got one two three and four now if we swap over to this white stained clay we'll put the door on the inside uh, a little bit weird not having a, a center piece to the door but we'll try and get around that in fact we'll put our door right in the middle so we'll end up with this I know it's not nice and we're going to have to put two uh, door handles on either side and obviously this middle can't really explain it um, 
but it kind of has to be there now we can kind of do it like so so you have a piece of glass in it because I don't particularly want to go too high uh, otherwise it's going to end up being a case of the house is going to be a lot higher than what it should be uh, or we forget all about the windows in the front of the frame for now altogether uh, so I'm going to leave it like that for now and uh, we'll decide as we go that a little bit further so keeping in line I'm still going to run my frame across the inside as well and like so and there is a good reason so we're going to go up um, and this is really where the house actually grabs its height from uh, because you can't really explain why it's this high um, so we know we've got one, two, three, four. So we know this side has to go up that little bit higher, uh, which is really annoying. But at the same time, not a lot can be done about it. So we're going to go like that. And then keeping it down from that side, we're sort of going to then stagger it two at a time, so to speak. But, um, Obviously that's all depending on how the roof actually fits in as well. So we seem to have got our outside done to a point. Now, this kind of tells me that we need to use stairs, but at the same time really we want to be using uh, blocks as well because we still need to put some glass in the top if it's possible. Now I say if it's possible because like all builds there's always that one part that's got to be awkward and really we want some we'll do the orange afterwards I think so let me try and get a better look at this house so this side is actually going to be angled up quite a lot more so if we was to do this or even if we was to do it like that um, I don't know if that would actually look right like that. If we sort of done it like that, maybe. Uh, the only problem is then is that we would need this other glass to then carry on the pattern. Uh, let's hope that we don't climb it too high. Uh, because I don't like the idea of having this inside, just above the glass, it's a bit too noticeable uh, not much we can do about it so we're just going to carry on, see where our height actually ends up hope that we don't end up too far outside of the build as it is so we've got that put in our block and the good part about using these blocks is hopefully it will make it easier for us to use our windows on the roof so we've now got to here I'm really hoping this is going to come together well um, and on this part it would still seem that we build out as well so we have to go about that as we go about it so let's just get this part done first And then from that moment on, I think it actually would start declining from this part. So basically we end up with like a really sort of rugged edge. I'm trying to look for a picture that shows it in the town as to show how mild these roofs actually are. Um, because by no means that's not a steep roof. Uh, but I am wondering whether we should double layer the layers going up. So say for this one, take it out and then pull it out on both sides. Now guys, I am going to go through. I, I know it's not nice having to uh, watch it like this. But uh, at the same time, it's better that we try and do it. Um, because on a house like this, because it's so small, and the details are quite large we kind of need to try all the different approaches 
to really make sure we get the best out of this house. So we're now trying it double layered. Um, I'm sorry for anyone watching and thinking, oh, what a waste of time. It's not a waste of time, it has to be done uh, as to find where we're actually going to be for our house itself. So we're now at this level, which means we are going to cut into the glass a little. Let's just do it from the outside. And if we go one, two, uh, one, two, and one, two. So we'd only end up with a very little glass, whereas stairs would go the other extreme. How about we leave you on the end and then we start lifting up every layer. Do we think that would be... Okay, so there's another detail that I didn't realize. Basically, that is that this glass has like an extra line of wood. So come on, where are we going? We've got to keep it at this size, really, because we don't really want to be going any any higher than we already are. So if we stick to this size, where will we end up? So forgetting about the other piece of wood for now. Let's chuck you lot back in. you okay so I think we're probably going to be on a much nicer path now just go ahead and add all these little bits on for a moment and get rid of you pull you back there. So it's kind of an oddly shaped house, but uh, you can only really try your best to get it as good as you can. Um, and then I'm wondering, do we really want to do we want to pull down the size of the house now, knowing that it's our first opportunity, and do we really want to waste it? So really we want to start building up a cobblestone now. So the house is going to be a lot higher than I was expecting. Uh, it's the one part of the build I wasn't really, I don't think I was really concentrating on. Uh, I sort of seen it this morning and thought, you know what, I can build it. Uh, it's going to be awkward, but it can be built. The one part I did not take into account was the size of the house and how hard it would be to pull it back in. We can put that there. Coming out a little bit further. See if we can get a view without. So okay, I I think it's gonna build together pretty well. And it gives us our height now that we can work with, so we can start filling these up. Now I haven't had a good view of the house the other way and I've only got one picture of it in the Simpsons which actually shows an extra bit of the building um, so I'm a little bit confused by that at the moment but for now I think that is literally the best we can do um, it seems a lot, a lot steeper on this side how it comes back down the build but then if you look at it from a different angle it's actually not and then looking at it on the actual Simpsons the roof is still the same slope just a lot smaller like we've done there uh, the only thing I don't like is the colors on the wood now that we have pulled it back it's a little bit annoying and I'm hoping we can sort of cover it up with um, sort of like a bit of wood but uh, I'm thinking at the moment that is the best we can do. 
and I just had a thought I could have added one more onto the door and these windows would have been all two each and then we would have had three to each door bit annoying and it would have followed my rules from normal builds but uh, at the same time would have made it a bigger build as well and I wasn't sure that it was really going to come in just like this so guys we're just going to add in all of this row now it is going to be quite in a way a big house but there's not much we can do about it all of our builds end up a lot bigger than what they should be but at the same time I'd rather it was like this than to find out later that it was all done wrong and what you got to think is these windows on the back are actually going to end up taller which is a little bit annoying but uh, not much can be done about that so we're just going to leave it this high for now let's get these in uh, and we start layering the roof back and then I think our next challenge is going to be actually the skylights which is going to be a little bit annoying so we want to come out one going in one as well then our block uh, and then if we've only come out one do we really want to go in the extra Ooh, awkward So if we keep it to that height, hopefully that will keep it looking a bit better. Uh, trying to remember that we need to put in them skylights as well, so I don't overshoot it straight past where we need to be with them. Um, and obviously we need to go up one more on these, so we could put glass in there and in these. With that glass, we can pull across the extra one. Now with a block. And our half slab underneath. So let's just make sure I'm not going too, too far past where we need these windows. Not a little bit further in yet. And they seem to cover up about three spaces of windows. So I'm going to pull this one in. like so, pull this one back as well and I think we're going to have to work out some sort of placement for them now what I'm hoping is we sort of do that it is going to be awkward because we are going to have this slant in the roof and obviously we can't go up at a slab's reach what I was hoping was to do like two in a row like that so basically on this one so it'd be like that, and then you'd have a slab around it, like that. I don't know. I think it'll be okay. We we should be okay. We'll have a look. So let's get over this side. Let's let's finish off where we need to be over here. So we got one, two slab coming out. And I think we're going to pull this out an extra length as well. Uh, but for now, we just carry on as we go in. Ooh. Uh, I think I may have to pull over the center of the roof just so I know I don't go any further. Um, let's just pull it over. Just... So we know not to go any further than that sort of point. Add an extra one. So one, two. Get these done as well. Now we know we're not going any further than that. And then we've got our middle one, bringing it up to the same level. So we've got another glass to go in here. Uh, not actually one in there which could be a relief and also not um, so we're just gonna 
need to fill in as we go round. Like so. And then we're free to pull this one all the way across. Oh, caught myself. Um, we may extend out the sides um, just out to an extra length, one more, just so it doesn't look that a little bit dodgy. And the only other thing I don't like is literally this. You know, if I could do the roof and this the same colour, I probably would. Um, but for now, that's the way it's going to be. That's, that's the way I'm going to leave it. I just hope that you guys actually see it as the brown house and not as uh, just a disaster gone wrong. So, for this one, we're going to... Let's drag these back for another one or two lamps yet. In fact, it can only be another one. But that's fine. Uh, it seems to really keep that in. Ooh. Now with these houses, normally they only come together once you put the last details in anyway. Um, but for me, I'm actually pretty happy. This has turned out a lot better than I was actually expecting. Because uh, I really wasn't expecting uh, too much with this. So the problem we've got now is we are literally like that. Um, we can't pull it up no further, so them ones can go. Uh, we could actually drop it down to the next one. So it would be like that. And then put in our roof panels like so. Now it's a little bit annoying because it is going to show like a block showing from the bottom. It doesn't bother me because I don't actually uh, use it as such anyway. Um, and normally I wouldn't be using like a separator. In fact, I'm going to put this one on this side. Knock this one down. I wasn't sure whether to do one full window or to put the separation in. Um, but I've have put the separation in. Uh, it wasn't really thought about. I do wonder if we should use stairs there instead to kind of show that it is going up that far. Uh, let's have a. L mm, I'm really not too sure. Because realistically, that should be a block there. And that should be a block there. Now the other option is to pull these windows up. And have them like that. But then there's no angle at all. Uh, the other option then is to go down an extra one. But then it's going to look a little bit off. A little bit dodgy. Uh, or we can take this one out. And then it will actually, you'll be looking at it on the same layer as the next one. Uh, for me, I'm going to leave it the way it is, so like that. Um, mm, I don't know what I make of it personally. Not really a lot we can do with it. So if it's not liked, unfortunately it is one of them things. It really does have to stay that way. Um, maybe we can drag it down to four. And then put that there. Um, so we end up with this sort of skylight. Uh, all maybes, and it realistically is down to yourselves. Uh, I'm not really too bothered about just having them as a four. I'll be kind of happy with that. The only thing I don't like is that it is so see-through that there's nothing in there. And all the time there's nothing in there, it's going to show as literally an empty house. That is a little bit annoying. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this across. Uh, finishing off this side of the roof. Obviously, we've still got a chimney to put in, but that, that goes the other side. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at these windows and I'm just thinking, do I like it? 
problem is, is I don't. I'm thinking I would rather it stack up like that and then done the same here maybe, but because there's no you don't slightly fall into it, which is I, I'm just not liking that sort of where we're not it seems like you're either one below or one higher and Mmm, I don't know. There's nothing we can really do about that. That has to be there, whether we like it or not. That is the way the build is. So I'm thinking, do we want to build up, or would we rather build down? Now, this is why having the, the two layers was actually a great... You know, I thought, oh, if that works, that'll be great. Uh, but obviously... It's going to be silly if we do that, so we we can't really do that. So what we're going to have to do is just carry on the roof. And now we sort of want the same same sort of windows on this side of the building as well. Now the only thing I can see with this house is, like I said just now, it is going to be of most importance to actually put an interior into this house. Um, just purely because all the time you're looking at it from the outside it is very empty and is not what you're going to want for your builds so I think I went four in length on the last one um, so if I go ahead and add these ones I think I had another extra line um, now we are one down here, so we're gonna go one, two, and then one, two, one, two. And then our roof slats. And then doing the same again. Now guys, I don't know if I'm happy with how this house is gonna turn out. But like all things, it is a compromise. It has got to be done to this way um, if you're going to be using vanilla. Um, obviously, some texture packs may help you out, but they're not going to help you out with M windows. Um, I'm trying to think in my mind of what I can do with the roof to actually help those slay in. And the only thing I can think of is like when we were going to double layer the slabs, uh, but then we would have ended up with a very small roof that wouldn't have suited the build at all. Um, so for me, I'm just I'm just not sure if I like the fact that they're poking out a little bit or whether maybe we can sort of not like that, but maybe we can sort of frame them in maybe. Have a quick look afterwards. Uh, get that one out there because that's not looking good. See, it does look a little strange, and that I don't like. But at the same time, I think it's gonna. I think it looks better because it seems to add. That little bit that says it's not gravity defying. So on this side I actually knocked off the top ones. I'm wondering if that looks better. Let's just take a side view. Mm. I don't know, I think I'm going to leave it like that. There isn't, literally, there's nothing else we can do to make that actually any more viewable as such. I mean we could pull up this one and then this one but then we're going to end up with the same problem but here instead and that does you know either way it's going to be annoying. Uh, I'm now actually thinking about this roof and um, whether we need to move these down actually one touch. Um, when I say one touch probably two touches. Uh, so do that. 
sorry guys, I, uh, I didn't realise, I, I forgot all about that roof then. So, we're going to take these off. Let's see where I've actually layered now as well. And in the same fashion, we're just going to chuck them on the lower fittings. So, like that. And then I am going to box them in a little. Just so that they look a bit more normal. Uh, from a closer distance. Take them ones off. I don't know, does that look better? So yeah, we want, want it like that. Just really to sort of, I don't know. We leave it like that, that's cool. That, that's the way it's gotta be. That's literally the way it has got to be. So let's get this roof done, uh, chimney done, sorry. So we're gonna go drop down one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, it's quite a thin, thin chimney. So we're just gonna go this high. Ah, that's okay. For me, I'm only uh, concentrating on my outside. I really hate how ugly cobblestone is. It really is. So we're just gonna go one extra up. Um, and then really we just want a stone stone slab really I would love to drag it out one like that but uh, it's really not going to look right from the bottom and um, what else do we need we just need a little cobble wall so where is our cobble wall right there and we're just going to put one of these at the back here is that the right height? Yep. So we could put that up too high just to really show that it is there. Um, do we want to do anything at the bottom there? I don't think so. Uh, now the doors. The awkward doors. So if we go one there, probably one there. Uh, just chuck in the glass like so. I'm going to chuck my door in at this height. But realistically, I'm not going to really be using the inside of this house. So, I mean, realistically, I probably should have went the the six, six blocks route for the door. But uh, it didn't seem like the right thing to do at the time. Now, it's a little bit annoying looking at these parts now. I'm wondering whether we should maybe change every two into these but then we're going to sort of add height to the roof we're going to need to do another layer on top and if you're then going to do that realistically you want to be using the acacia wood which i suppose if we were to just have a quick look um say if we took these ones off and then put the orange around the edges i don't think that's going to look right personally And I'm pretty sure you can't use these as half slab. No. So. Not the best house we've actually done. Um, I would say a very good attempt at something. That shouldn't have probably got this far. Uh, I wish in a way that maybe I'd done the, the six blocks. For the steps. Because. Uh, for the doors. Because I, I did know it was going to sort of come that far. But at the same time. I didn't want to start building too high because I knew the house was going to get higher. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I like these doors or not. But there's not a lot we can really do about that. Um, because we're not going to get no separate sort of doors on the side. And the only other way to get around it is to use the birch wood. Which is then going to highlight the little pieces that are sticking out. Which is no good to anyone. So right now... I'm going to leave that as the main build is actually done. And then I think we're going to chuck in our clay. Let's just get rid of all that. We'll get our clay in. Uh, we have now actually got coarse dirt, which is 
always very handy. Um, we want some long grass. Um, we're going to try and create like a little bush. So if we just get some oak leaves and we're going to want spruce fence, I think. So we'll go ahead, chuck a clay in for our path. Now we've only had the coarse dirt for a very little while, but uh, I don't think it actually grows back. I think it's for more structural, structural builds. Because since I have been playing the survival mode, I have noticed that there is uh, different meanings for everything. <laughs> so what do we actually want here? I can't actually see the picture too well. Uh, a couple of cobblestones by the looks of it. Uh, we're going to try and make... Let's put that back a little touch. So we're going to put that there. So it's got like a free tier sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is instead of creating a free tier, I'm just going to do another one right next to it like that. I'll probably do another one. Oh, not there. And Oop, another, another one there. Uh, we're going to just chuck some tall grass in around it. Uh, because I can't see the cobblestone wall doing it any favours personally. Um, let's have a look at this coarse dirt on this side. So we're going to want from that step inwards. And then we're going to go about two blocks down here. Going all the way to this very point there. And chucking in our coarse dirt, ready for some long grass. And maybe some flowers of some sort. Really you're just trying to clean it up a little bit. Just really trying to make it look that little bit more accurate through a few details. Uh, like I say, with a house like this, it really hasn't been made easy for anyone. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, we could use a bit of a shrub. Not really a lot else that we can use. Um, it really seems there is a couple of cacti in there, so we could. Uh, so if we just put this on the side. To say about a couple of stones, but I don't really want to be uh, using stones. I don't think it's going to look too good. Then a couple of little bushes, like so. Uh, let's carry on with a bit of tall grass, just just to really uh, put a finish on it. And then let's have a quick look. What's it cacti look like? Oh, we can't put it down, so we'll just use a bit of the tall grass like so. And then for this part, come in backwards. Now I'm only going to do this part because I don't know what this actually is supposed to lead on. But uh, every time you look at a picture, there is always like a bit of path right here. So we're just going to go ahead and place this, and I dare say we probably should place it running all the way around the opposite side of the build. Um, not really that important to the build. My main priority is going to have to be furnishing this house because I can't bear to walk past it all the time seeing just a big patch of grass. Plus, um, this is going to be a good house to have your lights on, um, so when it does turn night time, you're going to have a nice, real nice feature. So like I say, improvements on this house from the build. Basically, I would say the cobblestone, maybe an extra layer, an extra block in, maybe. And then with that extra block, I'd leave everything in the same place and obviously have it built to here. But then it would be one out on itself, like so. So then you'd have this frame of cobble and then we go into the house itself. Um, other ways to improve, 
I think is probably these columns. Uh, this column, if it could be, it would be out here, but at the same time you'd lose a bit of space because this one window pane would then become this one's window pane at the same time. So that can be also be very awkward to work with. Um, window slats, not a lot we can really do with this. I, I wish there was and I wish I could say to you, I'll oh, do it this way and it will work. Um, this is only going to look any better on a much bigger builded house. So that way you could stretch the length. So this becomes just part of the pattern. Now if it was stairs, you'd do it one on every level. And that probably would have looked a bit nicer because you'd have a much more even sort of context of it going up and down. But um, without that and with that being said, the house is made. And it is the best I can do personally, uh, just off the top of my head. And actually, I'm looking at it now and I'm <laughs> I'm actually really surprised because I've sort of put off building this house for a little while thinking like, you know, we haven't got the right colours, we haven't got the right materials. And okay, little bits like this underneath. We do it on all the builds, but at least it's the same colour when we do it. Now on this, it is a little bit annoying. I think I've actually, I just remembered maybe, yes. How did I forget you? So let's just swap this over. Sorry guys, <laughs> I just realized um, I actually just forgot a lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, that won't go there. Okay, so it wants to be awkward in that spot as well. Um, so maybe if I actually put this there and there, put this coming up too high maybe three and then all we want is I'm I'm gonna use glowstone um, but probably not the best thing to use but for now it's okay obviously we can put some uh, trap doors around it to make it look more like a lamp who is uh, I'm just gonna try it because I've just been wondering if it would actually work Ooh. Okay, it doesn't make it look any nicer, but it did actually work, which is kind of surprising. I didn't realize you could place blocks on top. Uh, I'm going to use my trap door just to make it look a little bit more attractive. Um, so hopefully this way it will look more like an outside lamp. And then what else could we put on top just to make it sort of fit in that little bit nicer? Uh, something yellow. I'm not really seeing anything yellow. I'm not really seeing anything that could be placed on top. Um, I did see that then, but it's not right. I mean, realistically, it would be nice if we could use like a torch and something to make it look more like a light. Uh, but for me, I think this is about the best we're going to do. Uh, maybe we could use... Oh, who knows? Maybe a slab. Maybe just a little slab like so, just on top. Okay, so it doesn't look the best, but it does the job. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, we will get back onto a few more because I'm going to enjoy this piece and quiet right now because just lately, if you haven't noticed, or you probably have noticed, I haven't been able to do my builds as much as I've been really wanting to. So guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and I will be back on very shortly. Thanks for watching.